Hello, welcome to the very first round here. Um, I'm not gonna mulligan this. I mean, I have turn one, gold rest, turn three, sort of fierce and famine, I guess. Guy has mox spell. Nice way to show the stack, by the way. Uh, let me just. God damn it, this. <laughs> it's gonna take a while for me to adjust these things. Oh, okay, have to click K. Uh, so now you can visualize the stack. I think that's a terrible thing. Um, because it always was the case that the better player had more options. Wh what does these errors do? No clue. Um, wait, you can. What does these errors do? They do nothing? I have no clue. Oh, it's my turn, I see. Um, hand is annoying. They also up the time again from 25 to 30 apparently. Probably to get people accustomed to the new layout. Which I definitely need. I think here he has to take recurring nightmare. Uh, if he doesn't, if he takes the gold, if he doesn't take the gold dress, he probably has removal for it. So this guy probably was seated to my left, seeing that he has a Mox Pro, where I took a time walk over. Um, well, where's the... Where's the stop? Where Where's that? Oh, th there's this? Really? That's all? God damn it. No, that's not it. Okay, let me put that on another screen to tournament I'm gonna play. Uh so he's going to combat step. Where where do I set the stops here? Seriously. Options Nope. I guess it stops every single time you wanna do something pro oh here they are. So I have stop set attack block. Seems fine. We're only at 19. Doesn't really matter if we get behind this early. Um, we have forbid up next turn, which will stop him for a while. Um, Bone shatter won't kill this. Man, my deck isn't doing anything here. Yeah, as I said, we have way too many tree drops. I already explained that. Um, that I have that. Stepping out for something. Seems unlikely that he has a sword here. Seeing that I have to... He knows of one. Plague Sliver, huh? That's a really good one. Because it actually uh, puts me on a really fast clock. <laughs> oh, that attack animation. Oh, you even see it if you get hit, huh? I can't even cast Hippie here, because we don't have double black. Although, you know, we actually added more black in our deck, uh, just because of this. Always yield, please. Can I click always yield here? Seriously? Oh, there it is. Wow, this this layout isn't as soothing as I thought it would be. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Smash my face. So probably Live Bane Zombie is good against him, seeing that he plays green. Uh, depends on which creatures he's gonna cast here, but I assume it's gonna be good. We haven't actually seen any creatures of him. Um, wow, still no good lands. Huh? Still no drops either. What? Wha what the hell is this shit? Then I just click OK or something. Priority received. Wow, thank you. So this is the, the chat window, which automatically can be minimized. Which is great, uh, because normally it would be at the right, and then I had to set up a screen region with X split. Now you can just do whatever of whatever you want to do. Where's this poison counter? Uh, or does this not? I deal one damage. That's nothing, man. I mean, I'm, I'm dead next turn. <laughs> 
I have no clue what I can actually even draw here. Yeah, that's not it. Uh, so let's concede this one. Terrible. Begin side loading, yeah, obviously. Uh, so probably want a living dead. Uh, probably want a live living zombie. God damn it, there's something in my eye. It fucking hurts. Ah. There's Remand, which I think I want against this deck. Man. Sword by Comfort Mana Cost. Which do I want out though? Um, probably want the Bone Shredder out. And. That's about it, I think. Like, I do need two more cards out, but which do I want to get out, huh? Uh, maybe a obliterator because it's a bit slow against him. Maybe one of the swords because it's not going to be that relevant against him. Like sword of fist of heaven seems nuts. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's try it. Yeah, I want to play first. Uh, no, I'm not going to mulligan this. I mean, I have all the lands I need. And I have a decent hand. It's obviously not nuts, but it's decent. Unless he opens with Mox Pearl again. No, he doesn't. Uh, so let's cast the Grave Rubber. I'm sorry for, for the sounds. I don't know if we can disable it. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, that's fine. Fuck off. So he has a disfigure. Okay. Um. So it's his turn now. I have a life being zombie. I also have Phantasmal Image to copy something. I have Recurring Nightmare if I want to start doing things. So it doesn't do anything here. Uh, and then we can just freely cast a uh, life being zombie here. Get a look at his hands. What? Okay. What's this swirly thingy, man? So it's two nail, go for a road and Vraska. Uh, go for a road kills it. Vraska is annoying. Okay. So it's probably gonna uh, kill it here, right? Yeah, yes. That's fine. Is that how it shows the target? So that's his main phase, that's his end step. So I now have Forbid up for stopping Frasca, which is awesome. Uh, which is definitely what I wanted. Now I need just a stupid card, I guess. A stupid creature. What's this? Plague Sliver. Um, yeah, that's fine. The problem is that I, if I want to play Forbid, I need an island here which I don't get uh, but I'm gonna go play for a bit anyway like every single time on the Vraska I take 5 I then play Miloku probably take another 5 so he's gonna smash me here which I don't mind uh, the thing is, I just want him to tap out for Vraska here, which he isn't. But as soon as I draw another island, it's good. The problem with Vraska is that it can kill stuff. Maybe I should have played for a bit on this. He's just gonna start smashing here and not playing the Vraska, I guess. I just need an island now. Which I don't get. I'm just gonna play the Sphinx then. Uh, draw more cards and see where it, that gets me. Because even if he plays Fresca, um, I then have Meloku. Do 
Do you wish to drive two cards? No, I, I, I hate drawing cards. Why would I want to draw cards here? Who even draw ca draws cards? Plays witness. Oh, I see him go for a road. Excuse me. Yeah, I know I, I received priority, dude. Seriously. Why didn't he play Fraska there? Like, doesn't it kill things? Um, so he attacks me again, I go down to 5. What does this guy have? Oh, I just stop here. What a, what a total need. So we draw Frost Titan, which is awesome. Um, which will obviously cast here. We'll lock down the. Oh, we'll lock down the f plague sliver. So we're only at five here. Um, not sure if Fresca targets. Uh, really not sure. Uh, I'm not sure about the second ability. Revealed cards. Why doesn't it sh show me? Like he showed me his hand. I should know his revealed cards. Seriously, man, this game. Uh, so it is his turn to move. Destroy target non-land permanent. Okay. So if he has a land here, uh, he can kill the first item. If he doesn't have land here, he can't. That's awesome. <laughs> So he uses it in a frost side and needs to pay two and fails to do so. Great move there. I started a chat with you. So he probably says oops or something. Wait, seriously? What the hell is with this fucking shit man? Oh yeah, it says ooze. Ooze. Ooze is the new nuts, ladies and gentlemen, ooze. So we're just playing Phantasmal Image. Getting a Frost Titan. Tapping down the Witness. Oh, so like this? Okay. Okay. Um, so we'll attack Frasca. Tap down the plague sliver. Man, this this game is hard. Kill Vraska here, I guess. Cause now it doesn't do anything. Um and then during the main phase we're gonna just gonna cast Maloka here. How many cards does he have? Four? Uh sure, so I wanna continue so I tapped out mana too much. Huh? I don't care about him waiting for me through his bond, put it off! <sighs> Please, how the hell <laughs> do I turn this off? Okay, so I, I gotta find a way to turn that shit off because that's annoying as hell. Zero six, no clue what that even means. So he plays Miss Merc Fiend, that's fine. I uh, can probably gonna take Jace, uh, that's the card I would take. Like, I don't see how Miss Mirfiend is ever going to do anything, though. Like, I can even bring back... Cons oh, he's probably going to take Recurring Nightmare. Oh, the game is ended. So, he conceded to this hand. Uh, he didn't show me a single green creature. So, Live Vein Zombie is out. Um, Bone Shredder is probably bad as well, then. He has some kind of aggro, but um, maybe Obliterator is back in. Like, he has a hard time killing it. Maybe I just want Acceleration. Maybe Acceleration is better than the Obliterator. Just to accelerate into my late game, which should be his late game. 
The living Dead, tum tum tum. Yeah, he doesn't have that many creatures to play around with compared to me. Uh, and then Epocrisite can go, although it's a good card. Not sure. Pum 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 pum. Maybe just one of the uh, accelerations has to go, like Kokari, Ragdos. Mm, I think my late game is strong enough against this guy. That I don't want to change anything. Like Jace isn't that nuts against them, but it's good on an empty board, especially if you can accelerate into it somehow. Ultimate prize is fine against him. Uh, maybe I won't leaving that out of there. Okay, let's try and run this. Submission received. Yeah, just what I wanted to hear. Um, hmm. so we have remand into Signet into turn five frost and that's about it. He mulligan I'm gonna keep. Uh, he mulligan on the on the play, uh, I think with a remand to slow his action down, it's a definite keep. Um, Overgrown Tomb opens and actually has an opener. Nope, he doesn't. Oh yeah, it it comes in the play tapped. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so... Um, Mesmeric Fiend? Nope, nothing. So I'm definitely gonna keep open Remand here outside of playing the signet. There's no need to play the signet because my four drops aren't gonna be that powerful anyway. Uh, while remanding a card here is gonna get me a bunch of time. Um, I actually want to remand the buyback, the flashback of that usually. Um, let's think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna remand the flashback. Get a grave rubber, which I obviously don't want to cast here. Uh, we want to have a spot to bring in the signet, though, but I don't think I have one. And if he plays Call of the Hurt next time, we can actually remand draw a card and actually hard counter it, which is why I want to play the remand. Um, oh, while while at the original resolve, and I'm gonna counter the flashback. I think having the treachery there is really good. Uh, because he mulliganed, he's down to 4 cards, whatever big creature he's playing later on, I can treachery. Um, so he's attacking, yeah, that's fine. And this layout, I, I really don't like this layout. Uh, maybe I can change it in the options, I'll, I'll check it out. So, usually he flashbacks Call of the Hurt here. Um, even if he does something else. Man, this stack looks awesome. So we draw Inquisition. We draw Phantasmal Image. Let's Inquisition him first. See what he has. So he has Vraska again, Plague Sliver, Air Boss, and Tutanil. I think if he doesn't draw land, he plays Plague Sliver, which I can then take. Okay. Uh, let's play a signet here. Then use that signet and play grave rubber. And although it doesn't block the elephant, it's a fine card to have here. Uh, he has nothing in his graveyard, right? Where where's his graveyard at? How the hell do I find cards here? <laughs> Ah oh man, he drew land. That's that's horrendous. Because he can now easily cast a Vraska. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, if he kills a Signet, that's probably the least of my worries then. Because Sword of Feast of is really good. No, I, uh, Signet is probably the card he's gonna target, right? Unless he pluses and I can then equip Swords, smash his face. But I would kill the Signet if I were him. I think you have to here. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, he kills a creature. Okay, that's that's just as good. Um, 
So I guess we play Gold Dress. Leveling it up doesn't do anything, so we're just gonna cast this thing. Uh, undo. Uh, and then say okay. We have Frostite the next turn. Which you can actually kill this time. Um, tum tum tum. Thinking about this. Uh, so he pluses this. Okay. So we can't actually attack it here. Plays Miss Merrick Fiend. That's a bit more annoying because that actually stops my hand from going active. Um, I can kill it next turn though with the gold dress. I guess. I'm only at 50 and the elephant is smashing my face. Damn you elephants. Oh wait, shit. So it actually opens I don't know if you can see this, do you? No, I don't. I actually got that. But if you see my task board, it actually opens three, three windows now. The magic game, then the cube, and then chat window, which is pretty annoying, actually. I uh, prefer the, the old way a bit more. Um, so he picks up the phantasmal image, probably because he has the w ways of killing of using the treachery, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna block here. Because he has Ruskai, he can always kill the treachery. That's what I want to say. So we get Frost Titan. I think we do want to kill Ruskai here with the gold dress. Um, we can do that by stealing the elephant. I don't think we want to steal the elephant. I think we just keep smash, kill Ruskai. Still think we want to steal the elephant then. So we do that. Um, okay. You want to untap these lands because they're awesome. Then we want to equip this on this. And then um, take Frasca so it dies. Then gold dress dies, right? Even if it has protection. Yeah, it dies. And then we re -keep We don't re the sword, by the way. Um, because if he has an answer for treachery, which is like... Which is, which is possible. Like, he might not, but he might. Um, if he has the answer for it, uh, I then give him an equipped creature, which I obviously don't want to do. We can kill this. So we keep smash. He takes five. Has to discard a card. We untap lands. Drop frost titan. He has plague sliver that doesn't do anything. So play this. Keep this. As soon as that connects, we know he doesn't have anything, right? I mean, he has to discard a card here. Oh, this is graveyard, right? He discarded air boss, which I knew about him having. So uh, let's play the titan and tap down the plague sliver. He might have to remove for that, but then the elephant is just gonna wreck face and this is fucking annoying oh really what what's with the swirly effect by the way that's weird
Okay. How many times? So, despite me playing a bit slower, I think, because of all of this, I'm still ahead of this guy. I guess this way it makes multi queuing a bit easier. Uh, because now you can easily tap in between these things. I'm not sure what he's doing here. He might just be thinking about falling. With folding, <laughs> wow! <laughs> Did I really say folding there? Probably played way too much poker. Uh, he, what I want to say is that he might be thinking about uh, conceding here. Yeah, I'm sorry about the lack of commentary, but there's still a lot of going on actually, um, both on my screen and actually in real life as well, like messages from people uh, asking about the weekend and so on and so on. Um, main phase post combat. Okay. So this is his tech now. It's gonna take a damage because Plague Sliver is that good. Discard Airbrow. So he has one unknown, two unknown cards here, uh, and he conceded. So that's round one, uh, which I won, and I'll see you guys for the next one.